I've been through a lot of tough times in nearly four years of running a window cleaning business. Somehow I've made it through them, but it's not been without the help from others. In this video, I'm going to tell you my tough times and how I got through them. Hello there, I'm Rob, I'm a window cleaner. I make videos about window cleaning, the kit and equipment that I use, and the services I provide like clearing out gutters or cleaning the fascia office and gutters. To help my channel grow, providing you like the video, then why not give us a like? Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to keep notified of any new content that I make. If you've got any comments or feedback, put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Six months into my first year, I was told I needed a new engine. £12,000 for a new engine, including fitting. Silly thing was, at the time, my first thought was how am I going to work tomorrow? So I got in touch with two friends that ran their own garage. They recovered the vehicle, took it back, had a look at it, and then told me for £2,500, they were confident that they could fix my engine and get me back on the road. So now knowing that I could afford this, I worked on the next problem, which was how was I going to work while my van was being fixed. So I ordered a gardener's backpack, and in the meantime, I went round all the car wash places to try and find 25 litre drums. I managed to buy eight at £1 each. The car I had at the time was a Vauxhall Sephira and it had roof bars so I worked out I could get my step ladders and my DIY extension ladders on top of the car and I'd have everything I needed to work. This also included the bucket so I could still do my gutter clearing jobs, my water fed pole and the pole hose so pretty much I had everything that I needed. This is how I worked for around about a month. Luckily for me because it was near the beginning I wasn't over busy and I managed to get all my work done still that was planned in the day. What I did find hard was I was limited to two 200 litres of water so I'd have to keep going home to refill but I was really surprised that I'd still get potential customers coming out to ask me give them quotes. When I got my van back it was absolutely amazing and I never knew how much I would have missed it. The gardener's backpack was brilliant it never let me down I still use it and it still comes in really handy. If you'd like me to do a video about the gardener's backpack then please put it in the comments below. Last year within the space of 12 months I managed to pull the muscles in my back on three separate occasions. Each time it took two weeks for me to recover it was a nightmare because I couldn't even put my socks on. So to work around this, because my son was working with me at the time and also my wife, I did the driving and my wife and my son were doing the cleaning. After the third time that this happened, I thought, right, that's it, something's got to change. I worked out I'd been lifting my hose reels in and out my van between 30 and 40 times a day. My ladders weighed 20 kilograms and sometimes I'd be carrying these at funny angles to get under archways or clotheslines. So I went for it and brought a Skyvac Industrial 85 gutter vac I also got the generator to supply it with it and the elite poles. This would definitely make gutter clearing a lot easier and safer doing it from the ground. I also got two electric reels which made life so much easier. Together everything sped up the work for me and my son to get through the day. The next tough time to come was definitely the worst one. Halfway through the working day my van engine started making a clunking noise. I knew this wasn't good. So I went to a garage straight away to get it looked at and it was confirmed that I definitely need this time a new engine. There's no way this will was being rebuilt. My friends who fixed it first time round said this time, yep, you need a new engine. It was £6,500 to have a good reconditioned engine fit to my van. I was also told this could take one to two weeks. It did in fact take two weeks because it took a whole week for the engine just to be delivered. So I got straight off the phone and started ringing around for quotes on how much it would be to hire a van as I was going to have to work the same way I did before. A backpack, I've got a trolley system now this time and loads of 25 litre drums and I got a quote seven pound to hire a van for two weeks. I then took about five minutes of doing some quick working out and realised on a tight shoelace I just might make it. So I rang the garage and told them yeah go for it. So now the pressure was on as I worked out I needed to get all the work done that was booked in. If I was to lose a couple of days I wouldn't have enough money to meet all my bills and everything that I needed to pay out and get my van fixed. So me and my son just knuckled down. We found it quite hard because I had 20 25 litre drums in the back of the van and it does take a lot longer to fill up those than just one single tank at the end of every day. Plus I had the gardener's backpack, the X-Line 45 litre trolley which had to be charged up every night. Thankfully we managed it and it was only two weeks as opposed to one month and I got to pay all my bills and all my outgoings except the most important one which was my mortgage. The sad thing was the money outstanding at the end of the month had that been paid in would have covered everything. Luckily for me I had a way around it. I put money away every month to cover my income tax bill so I had to dip into that so it's a case of 
Robin Paul to pay Peter. Now those days were quite tough, they're often 12 hours long, but luckily for me when this happened, it was during summer so we had the extra long daylight to get it done. Had it been in winter, probably would have been make or break. Just to keep it interesting, there was more to happen. A couple of months later, two of my younger children caught Covid and it wasn't long till the rest of us in the household got it. So this meant no working because of self-isolation for 10 days. Once these 10 days are passed, I couldn't wait and I was itching to get back out to work. But within about six days, another problem with my van. My van just wouldn't start outside a customer's house. So I rang a customer of mine who had his own garage not far away from where my van stopped. He come round, had a look at it and we managed to bump start the van. Later on in the evening, we got it round and dropped it outside the garage. The following day they looked at it, rang me up and told me that what I needed was a new starter motor. So I said, yep, yeah, go for it. They got it fixed really quickly and back to me so I could get back out on the road. However, at the end of the day when I went to pick it up and I was driving home, I had a low battery warning and two miles from a house, everything just turned off. With the help of the AA, I managed to get my van back to my house somewhere nice and safe. I got in touch with the garage to tell them the bad news and um, unfortunately for me, it seemed to happen that everyone else had problems with their cars and vans as well. But eventually, after 14 days, I got my van back and man, it felt like Christmas had definitely come early. Basically, what had happened is the barrel where my key goes in my van just stopped working properly. But it was telling me starter motor to continually keep going, which is why it burnt out. And then when they got it replaced with a new one, it burnt out again, which in turn is why I had a low battery. Now the part to order it had to come from Europe, which would have took eight weeks. The garage managed to find someone who could come out and replace and fit a new one to get me on the road as quick as possible. I was also told it's quite a common problem and I was very lucky that my van didn't actually catch fire, which is completely surprising that didn't happen considering the way my lock's been. Now I think running any type of business, you're gonna come across tough times, but being a window cleaner has been good for me because I've got to know quite a few different people and they've come to my rescue many a times during my tough time. And if it wasn't for their help, I probably wouldn't even made it through my first year. Things I've learned through this, always have slightly more work than what you can handle. Always try and keep some money saved up. Definitely try and keep the cash flow going because when you fall on hard times, you're gonna need every penny. Definitely have a can-do attitude and take a risk. Otherwise, you're gonna fail. And never forget those that have gone out of their way to help you. One day they're gonna need help and you're gonna need to be there for them. If you like the video, why not give us a thumbs up? If you've got any questions, then please put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. If you're new here, why not consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon to stay notified of any new videos. Look forward to seeing the next video. Bye for now.